if I had to capture Satan after Satan captured me, then how would you know who captured if you don't go into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida or inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, right? But if I did not recapture my uh, home, family, friends, right? Then how would they know that I'm captured? See, this is, this is what I'm saying, right? Like everybody saw something, but what did they know? They all went on perceptive, right? What, what they perceived. See, and I'm saying, but how can you perceive something that's going on in my life and your perception be my reality? I'm saying, yeah, man, you saw what you saw, but now let me show you what I did about what you saw. Because if I did something, right? So you believe that I did something, but you don't want to see what I did, right? But you saw what happened to me because you saw what you, you perceive I lost. But I'm saying... But what you perceived I lost is evidence of Satan. Right now, let's look at the definition of Satan. Now, I did not make up this definition. So somebody else had to deal with this Satan that I'm talking about. Okay. The angel who in Jewish belief is commanded by God to tempt humans to sin. So now, is who is God? That's got Satan treating me like Job, right? So according to the story of Job, God and the devil had an agreement against Job. So now, okay, how about if Job lived in the United States of America, that according to our constitution, Job would have freedom of religion, right? So now, according to the definition of Satan, wouldn't, if, if Satan has tried to tempt me, now wouldn't the angel who is in Jewish belief is commanded by God to tempt me as a human to sin, and that God should now be in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Owens counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning because they tried to tempt me to sin by taking my family's property, my business's property. So if I did not remain human, right? According to this scripture, how would you know Satan and his God, or its God, how would you know? But now you want to question me and my belief in me, that I'm God, right? By definition, now let's let's go. Now this is what I'm saying, because I'm saying I I asked, right, uh, about me, and it came back God. So if a preacher say. I prayed and God said this. Well, then it's not God using the preacher to tell you what he said. But now, if I lie, then my great, 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 great grandchildren not going to know that I don't believe in nobody other than me. Now, if you call this entity that you believe in God, then I'm telling my great, 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 great grandbaby, I'm your God. See, I, don't, I only have this time in this body to speak to my bloodline. Now, if I'm offending you, then see, I need, where is your God? See, are you Satan? Now, hold on, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. God, the being. Now, let's look up being. 
the quality or state of having existence. See, that's me. I have existence. I'm on this medium here. I'm on this video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube, and then the world going to see that I'm, I exist, right? Now, so perfect in power, wisdom, and goodness. Now, I'm legally perfected, right? Now, perfected. Let's, let's look at perfected. See, because you got perfect and then you have perfected. Completed in accordance with statutory procedure for giving notice and thereby having a status of pr priority over security interests that are the subject of such procedure at a later date or that are not the subject of such procedure. See, so August 12, 2008 is the later date. Today is August, August 2nd, 2023. So in 10 more days, that'll be 15 calendar years that I have perfected the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning. I perfected it. See, according to the definition of it. So now, let's go back to the definition of what I'm talking about. Who, who is worshipped by the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida for eternity, right? As creator and ruler of the universe, right? So if Webster's Dictionary can then define a being who is perfect, then why can I not be perfect if I perfected the law, right? Now, I'm going to show you uh, Galatians, right? Now, this is Saul, who changed his name from Paul. He wrote Galatians 3, verses 15 through 25. That says, brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant. See, so what about this man's covenant? Now Saul changed his name to Paul, and then he made this man's covenant. Now, I have never changed my name. My title has changed because of the titles these, this world has given people whom I have done the work of. So if it's a king anywhere in the world and the Bible says that he would be the king of kings, well, if I am in a country that toppled the king with the Declaration of Independence in, in, on July 4th, 1776, and then I had to topple the king, the hidden kings for whom have made themselves gods over this generation, I have brought them to court almost a decade, well, a decade and a half ago, around about, that's how you say in legal terms, around about a decade and a half ago, I have brought them to court and I have made a covenant with them. That's an agreement. See, I have made an agreement in court for, for this generation and all generations after this generation and I turn it into a corporation so every generation after this generation can then have uh, the opportunity to be. See, because I, I've had to topple Satan and his God in court, right? Now, and to make this covenant. And it say, yeah, if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. See, now, I have been legally confirmed. I am not adding to Galatians. I'm not adding to it. 
I'm merely referencing it in my case against Satan and his God. See, that is what your preachers and your ministers, they are supposed to be protecting you from who I am protecting you from legally. They are supposed to be protecting you spiritually from it. And now I have to uh, go on the spiritual side now and show you that I am approved not only legally, but spiritually, financially, mentally, federally, historically, biblically. See, but why your preachers and ministers, they don't have to prove that. See, they just tell you a story. They don't have to show that they are. You see what I'm saying? And why did I? Why do I have to go to this extent to prove what the who? Because once they throw me out of court, did I not prove that I was in accordance with the Florida Constitution in Florida? If they had to throw me out of court in Florida and I'm citing the Florida Constitution in my defense, but you telling me I can shoot a citizen and then claim self-defense under this same constitution. But if I use the constitution in lieu of the gun, now I'm a terrorist. Because, but I'm saying, well, well, when I went to court, why the judge didn't protect the Constitution by protecting my constitutional rights if I knew my rights? And I didn't want to remain silent. So now, then I'm saying, well, if I didn't want to remain silent, why is the state of Florida talking as if, you know, I did not give the state of Florida its Miranda rights? So now anything the state of Florida say can and will be used against it in the court of law. I have given you your Miranda rights. See, I, I'm following the law. But what I'm saying is, if Satan has a God, then I better be God. How can I be Satan and a God if I'm not God, if I'm not my God? How can I go outside myself to defend myself? If I'm not myself. See, so I'm saying, hey, well, where is Satan? And where is his God? Well, we in court. So shouldn't you be looking for Satan and his God if he defined? Right? Now, okay, listen here. Okay, so now to Abraham and his seeds were the promise made. He said of not. And to seeds as of many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disnull that it should make the promise of now, uh, the promise of none effect. See, now, if I affirm my covenant with my wife, my country, my children in court. Then this that's like four hundred years, right? We was in we we've been in my ancestors fourteen ninety two is twenty twenty three. So aren't we within the the fulfilling of this covenant right here? So so see they wasn't supposed to null it. D see they did disannulled it. So that means you annulled it. But so aren't then wouldn't America be against the the New Testament? Therefore, wouldn't America now and the state of Florida now be fulfilling the New Testament that Jerusalem and the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders fulfilled in Jerusalem? See, they fulfilled the Old Testament and now the Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church, which is the Pharisees, the chief priests, the high priests, the scribes, and the elders. I went in there just like Jesus went into the temp temple in Jerusalem. They throw me out just like they throw Jesus out and put him on the cross. They put me on the cross. The state of Florida aided and embedded them in the cross that they put me on. But I'm a federal employee and I'm a veteran. They'll go, I'm a Roman if this was then. Now, I have constitutional rights. You have violated. According to the scripture, you cannot disannul my rights, even spiritually. 
biblically. This is Saul who changed his name to Paul. See what I'm saying? So that's 430 years after cannot disannul that it shouldn't make the promise of none effect. See, in the civil and criminal courthouses and seminal and orange counties in the state of Florida. For if the inheritance be at the law, see, the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964, uh, that's my inheritance. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. See? See, it's no more promise. It's fulfilled. See, that's when it's perfected. See, that's what it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. See? So, see, by when Abraham had Ishmael from Hagar, he broke the promise. He violated the law. See what I'm saying? Where then serve where wherefore then serve the law. See? You're supposed to serve the law, not man. So see, according to the law of Galatia, Galatians, I'm right. See what I'm saying? In court, I was supposed to defend the law, not myself. But my life is what gave me the uh, necessary evidence to fulfill the law. You see what I'm saying? So now, okay, it was added because of the transgressions till the seed shall come whom the promise was made. See, so in 1964, Dr. Martin Luther King them made a promise. The promise that was made was in the Civil Rights Act in 1964. I was born in 1969. So that promise was made to me, for me, by uh, President Johnson and Dr. Martin Luther King. See, that's a promise that was served by the law. And I served the law to the breakers of that promise in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning. Then I served it to the United States of America in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Okay, and so, so then it says, say, till the seed shall come to whom the promise was made. So I came. See, I'm the seed, right? This is what this is saying. Well, what, who is the seed if I went and planted myself in justice's soil? And I have been growing, and my truth have been growing simultaneously that means together for 15 years. So how can you now pluck me out of American history, world history, biblical history, or any type of history if I have firmly planted myself in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at uh, at 9.20 in the morning, how can you now then charge me with any crime and you not be um, a criminal yourself? That's why, why would I violate the law? So my great, 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 great grandchildren see me violating the law when I'm saving them with my righteousness. Now, okay, and then it says, see, I am a mediator. See, now look, this it says, uh, it will be added because of the transgressions till the seed shall come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator now a mediator is not a mediator of one but god is one is the law then against the promise of god see this is him asking you a question see i'm saying i i did not mediate for myself i use my truth to mediate for you see what i'm saying i that's why i tell you i'm your public defender now this is what Paul is saying, see, he's saying that I'm doing what he's the mediator. Now, where's the preachers? Why are they not in court mediating for you? See, they are telling you about a mediator that they say is Jesus or the prophet Muhammad. But how are they mediating if they're not going to court? See what I mean? So now, so, okay, God forbid. So he's saying, you know, God forbid that that um, the mediator didn't come. See what I'm saying? Because he's saying 
Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one. See, in court, I wasn't mediating for myself. Like I say, I'm emancipating my people through the crime that was committed against me. So how am I mediating for myself? See, I'm fulfilling this scripture. Therefore, everybody else is fulfilling the Bible. See what I'm saying? Because if you're teaching the Bible and you can't come to court like I went to court to show that I am the legal mediator for this generation and every generation after this generation, because I have generated a case number. I have a case number, a federal case number and a state case number for the emancipation of my people. How can I not be the mediator? Okay, so God forbid for if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. See, so see, I'm doing the righteousness so my great, 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 great grandchildren on into eternity, their friends and family and relatives will be able to use my righteousness to be able to defeat Satan and his God for eternity in court. If I didn't do it, on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, when would I been able to do it? Okay, now, um, so it says, uh, righteousness should have been by the law, but the scripture have concluded all under sin. See, so the scripture have concluded all under sin. So that means all of y'all was under sin until the seed, which is me, came and planted my truth in court. This is what your scriptures say, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But how did y'all believe and you didn't believe that I went into court and saved us? And now we have wasted 15 years because of your disbelief. And you the preacher, you the high priest Caiaphas, you the Pharisees, you the chief priest, the scribes, the elders. See, you the one that's supposed to be teaching us the ways of Christ. But yet you can't go to church because of your ways of your ancestor, which is the high priest, the Pharisees, the chief priest, the high priest, the scribes, and the elders. Now you're guilty according to what you teach. Okay, now it said, but before faith come, we were kept under the law. See, y'all were kept under the law. Y'all not in accordance with the law. Okay, uh, shut up under the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. See? Here it is right here. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up un unto the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Where wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. See, 